Whitney Houston was found dead in her hotel room at the age of 48 on the eve of the 54th Grammy Awards. Houston's history of substance abuse and her relatively young age have many wondering if drugs or alcohol were factors in her death. But they won't know for weeks. Why do toxicology reports take so long? Because there's a backlog. Analysts typically work on multiple cases at once, and they're frequently behind schedule due to staff shortages. To make matters worse, toxicologists often serve two masters. When they're not in the lab, they're in court, offering expert testimony. In Washington state, lab scientists spend as much as two days a week on the witness stand while blood samples languish in a refrigerator. Thorough tox reports are complex. First, labs try to collect at least 25 milliliters of heart blood, 10 milliliters of peripheral blood, and 50 gram tissue samples of the subject's brain, liver, and kidney. An analyst then carries out an alcohol screening and a generalized immunoassay test, which can detect drug groups like opiates or tranquilizers. If the drug test is positive, a confirmation procedure is triggered to ferret out the exact nature of the offending substance. Next, a supervisor reviews the analyst's report and either approves it or requests more tests. This whole process, barring glitches or lengthy tests for hard-to-detect drugs, could take just a couple of days if analysts were able to devote themselves exclusively to a well-preserved specimen. But they rarely get the opportunity. Some evidence is prioritized for a court date or an ongoing investigation, and lab screenings of the living sometimes get to cut in line. That's probably only fair. The dead can wait in eternity. <laughs>